yeah hi so, so how to resolve this cause origin problem so like means what i was trying to do is like means whenever i'm trying to connect the firebase storage in my angular application i was getting this problem so basically what i was trying to do i was reading a text file from the firebase storage so first let's see what the problem is and then we will proceed with how to resolve this the first thing that i'm trying to do is like means doing a get request to that particular file so whenever you up you will upload some file in the firebase storage so you will get a, a path of that particular file along with the path you will also get a token of that particular file so that uh, without the token you will not be able to access that particular file so in this path i have mentioned both the like means file path plus token also so that it will not get should not give me any permission or uh, some authentication kind of problem so that i am doing and like means here i am providing the response type as a text so as i am reading the content of the text file so whatever the text file content i want to read that file so for that one that's purpose i have provided this response type as a text so here i'm using this http client so that like means i can do this get request and for the same we need to import the http client model in the model and to like means uh, here you can see like means in the constructor i have uh, declared that http variable so that i can use it in in the below component so it's a i am injecting this http client in the constructor and in on and on in ng on in it i am calling this red text from file stored in firebase so that method i am calling and there i am doing this get request and after that like means you can see whatever that things that i am getting from the get request i am storing in at item 11 and same thing i am doing in the console printing it in, in in the console so let's go back to the application how it's look so this is the application that uh, it's running now so what time means whenever i'm i will going to click this select so at that particular time i i am going to do the get request so right now i'm opening the console and just see what i'm getting there so yeah i'm clearing this particular thing and just doing the get request so yeah on click of this select button if you can see yeah this i'm getting this error so so here you will not be able to get find exit either so if you go to the network tab you will be able going to see cro cross origin resource sharing error so which means you will not be able to access your file from your local host so right now this application is running in the local host so you will not be able to make a call from the different origin or different server kind of thing that you can see so so if you can see the firebase documentation part so this path i will be going to provide in the description then you can go to this particular path and then here you can see there are the steps some configuration that you need to provide so that you will be able to perform this operation so first thing that i need to do is like means we need to make a course.json file and the content of this json will be this one and after that you need to install jsutil so from that means that from that we will need to do the configuration so just click on this particular link and it will redirect you to a different page from there we can install the install for this jsutil so right now i am in windows so i will download with the window if you have a mac and so you can choose your operating system and just download this particular thing so only thing like means right now i have already downloaded it so i will try to install it the installation is pretty simple just click on next 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 and that's it so even though it's already installed in my system still i will try to so means how it's look simply click on next then i accept this 
license agreement and then do the next the path is as it is whatever they are so if i click on install you can see it's already installed even though it's the version is bit uh, lower version that i already have but it's fine but i'm not going to download it um, install it again so for in, in your case it, this message is not going to come so you can simply ignore this part once uh, if you can see if you can see the once the installation is completed you can come back to this particular path the link that i have already provided and just copy this command just copy this uh, what so that we need to make a json file for that one so we are not we need to copy this file and save this as a course dot json you can rename it as anything but from simplicity purpose i am keeping the same name as what is ever it's given in that file so course dot json and then after you can see the run command of that particular js util course you can copy this one and paste it into the notepad because here you need to do some little bit of modification that we need to be provide so here you can see gs storage so that is the path of our firebase bucket so that firebase path you will be able to get it so in your firebase console if you go to the storage path you will get the url of that particular thing so if you see in the gs thing just copy this path and edit that command that is provided in the website and just make this make this uh, command ready because in the next step uh, we are going to run this particular command so right now i'm opening the cmd so right now like means what i will do i will first check whether the gs utility is installed in my uh, system or not so simply i'm going to check the version of gs utility so for that one gs utility ver minus minus version so it will going to provide me the version of that one so for me it's 5.5 you can check your version also so that this tells like means it's installed in my system so now what i will going to do is like means i'm going to go to that particular path where the course dot json is saved so i'm going to and just running cmd in the that one so it is going to open the cmd in that particular path because we need to run this particular gs util command in that path or there are two types means uh, in the second way you can provide the full path of course.json so if you are providing the full path of course.json then you don't need to run it from the same place you can run it from any place from but for me i'm just providing the same uh, name only the name not the full path so it's fine for me so here you can see the origin have the star like means it means like means you can access it from the any address even though it's a uh, local host or any server and for me it's only the get request i'm trying to access so as of now it's only the get is required if the post is also required you can put the post uh, by doing the comma so if i run if i run this particular command in the cmd for this uh, one thing you need to be having already so so you need to be authenticated like means you already need to be logged in to that gs cloud so as of now like means my credential is invalid uh, might be the access that i have already provided is wrong so what i will do means i will log in it again so for that uh, i need to do gs cloud auth login so it will redirect me to the authentication page of google g cloud and from there you can select your email id you can select your email id and then just simply allow allow this so that like now now it's authenticated so now you can perform this command now 
so yeah this is your you are now logged in so now i will copy copy the code the command that i have saved in my notepad let's see where the, i'm just simply running it again so opening the cmd in the same path as course.json and now opening this where is that file let's yeah uh, opening this notepad and just copying the command from this this gsutil and pasting and just simply enter that one it will not take much time yes that setting course on yeah that's it so now uh, that course origin problem will not occur means uh, you will now be able to access your firebase storage from any place that means any server so as of now it's from the local host even if you are hosting in, into the another server that also it will um, you will be able to fetch the data from the firebase storage so simply like means it's for the like means for the this uh, it's it might uh, not be good like for the security purpose they have set it like so, so that you should not be able to access it outside but if you need then you can configure like that but uh, in place of star if you are providing a specific uh, server that will be better idea like means for because now my application will be accessible from any server so that that is kind of problem that you might face so let's see now how it's behaving like whether the problem is resolved or not so as you can see the file is already it's, it's being read like so I'm, right now i'm able to read the file so let's go back to the uh, original same page from where we have come so let's see and just select do the select thing so whenever we are doing the select thing i am doing the get request so let's try the same thing again doing this select and now if you can see i am not getting any error and also i am getting the text from the file that that is stored in the firebase so you can see from read so that 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 is the thing that i am getting from the file so here you can see from read so that that console that is coming that is this is uh, coming from this console yeah that's it from it yeah thank you